Hello and welcome back. We're moving on to module two, 2.04, writing two-step equations. And as always, we're going to start with some vocabulary and we're just, we just have one today. We needed a little break from all those vocabulary words. And the vocab word is equation, which is a mathematical relation statement where two equivalent expressions and values are separated by an equal sign. And we'll have plenty of equations to look at and we have some common keywords. So if we're reading a word problem, sometimes it's hard to understand what they're asking us to do. So instead of saying addition, sometimes it says increased by, some, plus, more than. Write these keywords down so that when you're looking at a word problem, you can highlight them and know that that means addition. Subtraction, it might say less than, decreased by, take away, Difference between, fewer than, minus. Again, write those down so that when you're reading a word problem, you can highlight those keywords and know it means subtraction. Division could be quotient, half, third, divided by, an eighth. So a lot of fraction words would imply division. Multiplication, twice, times, tripled, doubled, quadrupled, the product. All of that is going to be multiplication. And then variable. In a, in a word problem, it's not going to say a variable. I mean, it could. But it might say a number or some number or an unknown value. And that would be a hint that you need to use a variable. You can pick a number for that variable. So make sure you press pause. Make sure that you are um, writing all of this down. A lot of times we don't take notes because we don't know what notes are important notes to take. I'm telling you, if it's in my video, it's an important note for you to write down because I've written it down. I went through the lesson. I found the important stuff and I've got it here for you. Now we have steps for writing a two step equation. Organize the math sentence into parts. Step two, determine which operations are going to be used. Those are your keywords that we just had on the other slide. Step three, write your equation. Step four, check your answer. Press pause, write this down, and we're going to put these steps into action on the next screen. So we have 3.3 equals twice a variable increased by 25. So we have, let's see. equals twice increased by, okay? So we have 3.3 .3 equals twice a variable increased by 2.5. So we're just gonna break it down into little pieces. And it's okay to pull out your highlighters or circle with your colored pens or pencils. You've gotta really break it down so that when you go back on a test or quiz, it makes sense. Okay, the sum of negative five and the quotient of a number and four is is 15. Okay, so let's break this down because this one's a little bit weird. We've got the sum of negative five and here's where it gets tricky, the quotient of a number and four. Okay, it would have been nice if it was all in the same line, but the quotient of a number and four. So we've got the sum of, and we really don't need the parentheses there, sorry guys. We've got the sum of negative five and the quotient of n and four is 15. Is equals, is is the same as equals. This one is probably kind of a tricky one because that quotient of a number and, and four.
Okay, now four less than the product of one half and an unknown number is three fourths. So this is the easy part equals three fourths. Okay. Now here's a problem. <clears throat> four less than. A lot of people are going to write four minus, but that is not four less than. That is four something less than four. So we need to, I'm going to get rid of this. We need to make sure that something is in front and then we minus four from it because we're taking the four away. It's four less than the other part. So the other part has to come first. The product of one half uh, and an unknown number minus four equals three fourths. Okay, so it's really important that we pay attention to that order. And this one, probably the hardest one. We need to really be, be careful with that subtraction that we are be careful with order because it would not, this is not, this is not the same. Not correct. I almost don't want it in your notes, but then I almost do want it in your notes with a big cross through it and a not correct so that you know when you get this problem on a quiz or on a test or on a DBA, you'll know that they are not the same. All right, twice the difference of a number and five is 50. So again, is 50, so easy, equals 50. Twice the difference of a number and five. So the difference between a number and five needs to go inside a parentheses because we're doing two times whatever that difference is. So two times n minus five in parentheses equals 50. So it's almost like we need to figure out this difference first. And that's why we put it in parentheses because we know order of operations, parentheses will make it happen first. And then we can do two, two times that. And let's see our real world connection. You have $62 to buy three new shirts for school. You buy three shirts that each cost the same amount, including tax. If you have $6.50 left after you purchase the shirts, what was the cost of each shirt? Okay, so we know that we bought three shirts. We know that we have $6.50 left and we started with a total of $62. So three times, the number of shirts, three times the shirts, plus the extra 650 that we have left would equal the total of $62. And then we're just going to solve. And there is another way to solve this. I'm just gonna show you this way first. So we have 55, 50, then we divide by three and S equals $18.50. So each shirt costs $18.50. But what if we don't set it up this way? There's another way that you can set it up. So let's go ahead and solve this other way. We started with $62. And we spent money on three shirts. And now what we have left over is $6.50. And I need some more space. So give me a second to erase. 
I'm going to try to save that S equals 1850, just so we know that we did it the same way, or did it differently, but got the same answer. So I'm going to subtract 62 from both sides. And remember, this is a plus negative three. That additive inverse is important. And 62 and 650 are different signs. So we're going to subtract them and we're going to get a negative 5550. And when we divide by negative three, we're going to get S equals 1850 because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Both ways will get you the same answer. So it's really just which one feels more comfortable for you, which one feels more natural when you're trying to write out the problem and then solve it. So this lesson is so very helpful with word problems. Make sure you watch it multiple times. Don't forget to watch the video on how to type in your math essay questions. It is linked on any assignment where you have to write an essay for the quiz or for the test. It really helps you with putting in fractions, exponents, you know, division signs, anything like that. That video will help. As always, make sure you've taken notes on this. Um, make sure that you've got good notes on it so it makes a lot of sense when you're looking back at it. And have a fantastic day.